News flash, everyone. Greed is not good. It's bullshit! The premise is Gordon Gecko is released from prison. He becomes a writer, and he naturally wants to reconnect with his full grown daughter, Winnie, who's in love with a young Wall Street trader named Jake, whose mentor was convinced to c c commit suicide after his company was bought by a hedge fund manager named Bretton James. Maybe a lot of people do consider Gordon Gecko to be an anti-hero in this movie. Well, I feel he, he's still a bad guy. He, he's not the primary bad guy, but he still feels like a bad guy. It's just my personal opinion. Maybe some of you think I'm retarded, but well, I'm not. It, it's, it's just... It's just a damn opinion. The movie was good, but there aren't actually a few flaws. It's naturally very hard to make a perfect movie. The story and acting are good. I'm pleased to say that Shia LaBeouf did a damn good job in this movie. He can be emotional. He's now no longer just even Stevens or the... Transformers guy. Charlie Sheen's cameo was a damn waste. <laughs> he he was only in there for a minute. He just pops in with two ladies, like in real life and shit. He 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 essentially says, "Hi, Gordon, how are you? Good. Uh, I'm I'm rich and screwing around." Uh, Hope you enjoy the party. Uh, sorry about that. It's very, very emotional and shit. I'm better. Um, there. I I have something to say about the Winnie character. There, there's something weird. You, 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 you could probably say bad. She doesn't like Wall Street itself. She doesn't like to associate with Wall Street traders and yet she's in love with, with a Wall Street trader. It's weird, inconsistent, uh, incoherent perhaps, I, I, I don't know. The movie is a little over long. Maybe three dialogue scenes could have been cut down a bit. Uh, I, I don't know if, if it would have been safe if any dialogue scenes were cut out entirely. It's I'm just guessing it's... Uh, I'm sorry again. I don't don't have much to say. I I have seen the first Wall Street two three years ago. It was good. I I don't remember it well. I'll watch it again sometime. Both movies are good, and certainly Wall Street didn't need, need a sequel. But but still, it's they're both good. I'm sorry for being redundant, repetitive, but, well, I haven't really thought this through. Uh, I know I should. You don't need to see this in the theater. If, if you really want to, you, you, you could see it in the dollar theater, but, you know, it's, it's, it's fine if you wait for the DVD. It's, I'm just saying, uh, See it whenever you want to, and uh, and it's cool that this is one of those sequels that doesn't require you to watch the first movie, and uh, I think most sequels have that quality. I'm not sure. Maybe it's it's common knowledge that this movie is also a standalone movie, but well, still uh, maybe 
maybe a few people watching this, uh, a few people who haven't seen the movie already don't don't know that. So anyway, uh, thank you for listening. Uh, please subscribe if you want to, and and please give me a comment occasionally or sometimes. You don't have to comment me all, all the time. Take care.